वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट फाइव वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट इज कंप्यूटर आई हैव सीन स्टूडेंट्स आर हैविंग सम इश्यूज इन टर्म्स ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट इज कंप्यूटर लाइक वेन आई आस्क दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन वाइवा विथ माई स्टूडेंट्स एट द टाइम आई हैव सीन सम रिप्लाई विच वॉज नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड इनिशियली फ्रॉम माई साइड सो आई थॉट आई शुड गिव यू बिट डिटेल्ड अंडरस्टैंडिंग रिगार्डिंग वॉट इज कंप्यूटर सो आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज कंप्यूटर एंड हाउ कंप्यूटर ऑपरेट्स सो वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट कंप्यूटर इट इज हैविंग अ हार्ट विच इज प्रोसेसर यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दिस कंप्यूटर इज हैविंग अ हार्ट दैट इज प्रोसेसर नाउ वॉट इज प्रोसेसर प्रोसेसर इज सिंगल चीप एंड इन दैट सिंगल चीप there are three major things which is there inside one is arithmetic logic unit second is resistor array and third is control unit now that is single chip remember this it does not do anything more than execution of instructions it is single chip and it performs what it performs execution of instructions it does not do anything more than execution of instructions but to execute instructions there are three things which is required one is alu that is to calculate what is happening second is resistor array that is to program so there must be some resistors by which we can do programming for that there is a requirement of resistors and third is control unit control unit performs controlling task right so let us see how computer is there in terms of block diagram so it will be more clear to you so my dear students here you see microprocessor that is also referred as cpu that is having three major elements alu resistor array and control unit and it performs what it executes instructions so to execute instructions first it needs to fetch the instructions after that it will decode the instruction and then it will execute instructions so microprocessor that performs execution of instructions and for that it is having three major elements alu resistor array and control unit now you will be observing how microprocessor is taking input so for that there will be input peripherals like keyboard mouse and switch that we interface with microprocessor so you will be observing like in your computer you will be having keyboard right as well as you will be having mouse so those keyboard and mouse those are input peripherals that we interface it with microprocessor and in your computer you will be observing you will be having output and that output will be there in terms of display you may be interfacing printer or led to observe what is my output right so that is how input and output that we externally interface it with microprocessor and microprocessor does not have its own memory for programming so you will be observing we are interfacing memory with microprocessor so in memory you will be observing we are storing programs so there will be data and programs by that will be executing task so here whatever program that we are storing it will execute it with respect to input that we give it to microprocessor and after execution of those instructions there will be certain amount of output that will be there in terms of display it may be there in terms of printing operation or led so my dear students computer is having microprocessor that is a single chip and with that single chip we interface input devices output devices as well as we interface memory so algebraic combination of input output memory and microprocessor that is your computer right so my dear students microprocessor is having its processor as a chip which is performing execution of instructions it will do computation only right 
and that computation that will be getting done with respect to programming. So in programming, you will be having some code or you may be having some data, right? So that programming that we do it with respect to memory. So in memory, we store program and that program will get executed with respect to input that we give it to microprocessor and you will be observing output by having display or by having LED or you may be having printer, right? So all those things that we use it as output to observe what is that my result which is been performed by that microprocessor. So my dear students, here you should understand one thing, like if you talk about a word file that you are generating in your computer, right? So see Microsoft Word, that is a program and word file that is a data, right? Like if you capture a photo by your mobile. So there will be one software which is there in your mobile. In mobile, you may be saying like your software is camera. After clicking a photo, you will be having a data which is your photo. So in memory, we store data as well as program. Program will execute things and data that will get display that you can say, right? So that is how things are happening inside of computer. I hope it is clear to you right now what is microprocessor and what is computer. Still if any query is there, just place that in comment box, I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.